Hello everyone, welcome to this video by Karya Ranna on TIS PIT and PI preparation. We thank you for making TISnet coaching course once again the most enrolled course for TISnet 2020 and uh, we also thank you for regularly trusting us for your PIT and PI preparation as well. We are happy to share with you our past results that is the results of last year when it comes to PIT and PI preparation. We had over 125 final converts across all the courses. We had 7 final converts in HRM and all the other uh, converts which you see on your screen they were across all the courses whether uh, the courses are from uh, public health, social work and any other course which is offered by TIS. We had students who got calls from over 45 different courses of TIS across Mumbai, Hyderabad and Tuljapur campuses and we were able to help them achieve their dream to study in TIS by helping them convert their calls. Because getting the call is just step one, the game is still on because one is to six is the call ratio. So you still need to work hard to convert your calls. And that's where a personalized one-to-one -one training specific to the course from which you have the call from comes into the picture as a big enabler for you in your preparation. Now, what should you focus for PIT? Now, this is one of the questions which we uh, hear the most from the students because PIT has 30 to 40 percent weightage, you know, uh, depending upon the different courses. And that's where PIT is also an important aspect. However, as per our past experience, if you do wonders or say if you do above average in your personal interview, even with the average PIT, you can easily convert the call. But still, we need to focus for uh, PIT as well. So let's see that what should you focus for PIT. Now in PIT broadly two types of questions are asked a WAT or short essay writing is given to you on one or two topics which are relevant to your field or there will be a short passage followed by questions relevant to your field. Again this is not a typical RC question but they would just introduce us a particular topic and then they will ask you some relevant questions. So you, it's not a RC you know where you would get questions uh, from uh, for which you need to find the answers from the given passage or you need to come up with a conclusion or inference based questions. No, they are just going to introduce a topic. So for example, they can give you a short article on coronavirus and then they can ask you questions relevant to, uh, you know, to your field and linking coronavirus. So this is just one example. This is the uh, you know, broad two types of questions which are usually asked in PIT. Now, uh, how do we go about uh, preparing for PIT? First of all, you, know, you, read, uh, you need to read potential topics from your courses area. Uh, what topics to read about? You will be getting a PIT list in the course which we offer you. Plus, uh, we'll also offer you content for some of the selected topics from the PIT list. In addition, for all the topics which are there in the PIT list, you can uh, Google those topics and probably read articles around them. Uh, one of the websites which I personally refer to you uh, for reading articles, you know, uh, especially say when we talk about fields like healthcare or we talk about psychology, we talk about social work, medium.com is a good resource and you can go on this particular website and read articles from your respective course areas. Now, uh, what should you focus for personal interview? There are broadly two types of questions which are asked in your interview. One is personal HR or soft skill based questions and second is the questions about happenings in your courses area. So this is a two broad uh, type of questions which you need to prepare from interview perspective. Uh, the make or break question for your interview would be why do you want to join this course? This is the most 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 critical question of your interview. This decides 90% of the times that whether you will be selected or not. The other critical questions include long term and short term goals and your view on the trending news and the issues from the respective courses area. However, if I just compare these three, the most, most critical one, once again, I emphasize is why do you want to join this course? Remember, if you can get this question correct, if you can come up with a very convincing answer for this question, nine out of 10 times, you are going to convert your interview call. Uh, apart from this, uh, this will also be sending you one DAF form, which you need to fill and uh, take alongside, you know, for your interview day. Uh, there are quite a few questions which are asked from DAF form also. So here is a list of DAF form questions which you can start preparing from even uh, today uh, because uh, most of you are still to get your DAF form. 
but you know you can start preparing answers beforehand DAF form questions have remained same over the years so we do not expect them to change even this year uh, the DAF form questions include why do you want to join this course share a biographical sketch of your journey so far personally and professionally why do you want to join TES and then your what are your strengths and weaknesses long-term and short-term goals and you need to also mention any internships projects or non-academic work done in the respective course area basically this is what your DAF form questions would be and you know that's what you can start preparing from even now without waiting for the DAF form to reach you now uh, your interview would start with either of the following uh, questions 99 percent times and that's where we are telling you this uh, so that you can start preparing and you should know the criticality and the importance of these questions because you know well start is half done is what they say and if you could come up with a good answer for the first question of your interview you are almost there and these questions are tell us about yourself tell us something about yourself which is not mentioned in the DAF form why do you want to join this course what is the meaning of your name mostly your interview would start with one of these four questions which are there on your screen so you can start preparing them well get them reviewed if you are the part of PIT PI course with us we will definitely be re reviewing all these answers for you but even if you are not preparing with us these are the four most important answers you know which you should definitely get reviewed by someone to help you out in you know uh, to come up with the best answer from interview perspective and also the answer which is customized as per your profile so that you do well in the interview once again at the end uh, I would like to share uh, the TIS PIT PI preparation course results and you know I would uh, like to emphasize on the fact that we provide you four to six mock interviews we provide with you uh, mock PIT tests we provide you PIT topics we provide you content for se selected PIT topics we review each and every answer of your DAF form and we also review all the critical interview questions for you make them good to go for the interview before starting off with mock interviews link for the course is in the description of the video you may check it out with this we come to the end of this video we wish you all the best we wish uh, that each and every one of you convert your calls and achieve your dream of studying in tests thank you everyone all the best once again